Hi, I'm Gareth from One Day Studios. Today I want to show you how to make your own animation to turn yourself into a cartoon. How do we do that? Well, we're going to spend a little bit of time, maybe 20 minutes, anything up to 20 days really. Depends how much time you want to put into making yourself into a cartoon. Uh, what do you need? What we need is a smartphone. So any Android or iPhone, doesn't matter, whatever it is, you need a smartphone or an iPad or a tablet. So either one is fine really. If you've got it, an iPad or a tablet is best because it's bigger and that'll make your job easier. You will also need 10 pieces of A4 white paper, just any printer paper. In fact, the worse the quality of the paper, the better it is. We want thin see-through paper. We want to be able to see through it and I'll show you why soon. You'll also need drawing materials. So whatever your favorite drawing materials are, just pencils, colored pencils, textures, crayons, doesn't matter, whatever you like to do. And you might also want some sticky tape. Uh, and later on, depending on whether or not you've got a stand for your iPad or your phone, you might need to make one out of cardboard or whatever you've got lying around, it won't really matter. Um, up to your imagination. Okay, the first thing you need to do is think about what your animation is going to become. So with animation, you can do anything. You can do magic, you can do superhero stuff. Uh, think of all the cartoons and all the crazy things that they get up to. So I want you to think of an action a fairly fast action, around one second. Something that would just take you one second. So jumping in the air, waving, turning your head, something like that, and think about what your character could become. So you can turn invisible, you can catch on fire, grow a beard, uh, jump in the air and fly away. Anything, whatever you like, but it's gonna be fairly quick. So just keep that in mind. So have a think about what you'd like to be. Got it? All right. Once you've got your action, you'll need a friend or a family member to take the iPad and take 10 photos of you doing your action. So my friend Richard is gonna take photos of me. We've chosen a white background, just a blank wall in the background. That makes it easier uh, later on when you're drawing. And Richard's gonna take 10 photos of me and I'm going to do this. I'm gonna pass my hand in front of my face and in my cartoon, I'm going to turn into a superhero. So when my hand passes my face, I'll become a superhero. So I'll start off with me, and one second later, I'll be a superhero with a mask on. Now, you've got to, when you get your friend or your family member to take the photos, go in slow motion, okay? So you want 10 photos over uh, a few seconds. So I'm gonna move like this. And my friend Richard will take 10 photos of me doing that. It'll all make sense soon, okay? Okay, once you've got your 10 photo, uh, photographs taken by your friend or family member, uh, grab your iPad or your tablet or your phone and make sure that the setting is on the highest brightness. So if you go into settings and just make sure that the screen is on as bright as it can be and that'll make it easier for you to see through the paper because you're going to trace your photos. So this is where you get your piece of paper and you lay it down over the screen really carefully and I just use a little bit of tape in the bottom left corner because I'm right-handed and I find that corner works really well uh, because that way it doesn't get in the way of me drawing. Then I'm going to grab my pencil. I love to use like a blue pencil or a red pencil, um, but of course you can use crayons or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter what you use. And we're going to trace the photo of ourselves. So this is the first photo out of the 10. Now, this bit's a bit tricky, I have to say, because if I touch the screen even through the paper, it's still going to pick up my touch and move the picture. So if you can, try not to touch the screen with anything except the pencil. So I hold onto the side here to keep it steady and then I trace over it like this. And that way it doesn't actually affect the screen. There is a setting in most phones and most tablets uh, and it's called guided access. And in guided access, you can lock the screens. Or some phones and tablets even have a separate thing where you can just lock the screen and until you press the button, it will stay still. If you'd like to do that, just uh, check your settings and you might be able to do that instead. But I'm gonna just try not to touch the screen. And I'm tracing over my face. 
Now it doesn't have to be a masterpiece, by the way. All I'm looking for is the, the main bits, the eyes, the nostrils, under the nose, lips. Now I don't have to be very precise because I just want to know where everything goes and then later on we can spend time perfecting it. So this is just the rough outline. That's all we need to do at this stage. So there's my first page, my first animation um, uh, frame. I nearly forgot the word. That's my first animation frame. Now I just need to do that nine more times with the nine other photographs. So we flip forward to the next photo and do it again. So now we've got 10 traced photos of 10 frames from the 10 photos that our friend or family member took of us before doing our action. We can put the screen aside. I'm gonna leave it there for reference. So I'm just gonna keep it to one side so that I can keep looking at it and make sure that I'm drawing properly. But now that I've got my 10 drawings here, I can start tracing over them. So this is the fun bit. This is the bit where you get to use whatever you want. So you can use pencils and crayons and whatever you like and go over the tracing that you did on the screen. Now that we don't have the pesky moving photo underneath us anymore, we can go wild, do what you want. You're in control. So I'm just tracing over and looking back at the picture of me just to see where everything is. So this is the bit where you can put in hours and hours and hours if you want to, or it can just be fast. Most cartoons are drawn really quickly. So most of the cartoons we see on TV are actually done super fast um, because of the amount that they have to draw. So if, the, if you're watching one second of a cartoon on TV, you're watching about 30 drawings in one second. And if you're watching a minute, then that's about 1,800 drawings. And if you're watching a movie, well, that's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. So it depends on how much work you want to put into this, whether you want to do it fairly quickly like this or whether you'd like to go ahead and do all of the details. Up to you. Uh, it will all work. It will all look good. Some people just really like to have it looking like almost like a painting at the end. Once you're happy with your 10 finished drawings, it's then time to put them back into the tablet and turn them into an animation. So we're going to use OSnap for that. So if you go into your app store and download OSnap, open it up. Now, the only thing that's tricky about this stage is that we need to make a stand. So I've made a really super duper amazing stand with my genius. It's some cardboard from the recycling bin. So I'm gonna make a stand like this and it's working perfectly. Okay, just gonna fold this over. Look at that. Genius! Yes! Okay, so I've got my camera in OSnap over the paper. So on my screen, I can see that bottom left corner perfectly, perfectly aligned. Now, my little stand is going to be the perfect spot for lining up the paper so that it's in the same spot each time. So that's the last thing to remember is that every time we put the, piece, the next piece of paper down, it needs to be in exactly the same spot. Every piece of paper needs to be in exactly the same place. 
So to do that, you might want to make a marker on your table. So you can use this. They call these, in the biz, they call these registration marks. So where the paper goes, you can just make a little mark. And then you know where the next bit of paper should sit. If you don't do that, what's going to happen? The world ends. Yeah, it's here. Everything's over. It's all done. No, what happens is the picture just moves around so crazily in your animation that it doesn't make sense to your brain anymore. It doesn't look like an animation. It just looks like a whole lot of pictures rushing past. So you really want to make sure that you do that well. Right, then what we need to do is photograph it. So, cha-ching. There's my first one. Then I get drawing number two, and I put drawing number two down into those registration marks, and I press the button. And we do that ten times. Press the button. Oops. There we go. Once you've done that ten times, in your app, you can just go back once you finish shooting and press the play button and it will start cycling. Then you just hit the forward button, share this photo and you can save it to your camera roll in your tablet. And then that's it. You've got yourself an animation of you being a cartoon. You are a cartoon now. That's wild. What an amazing world. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed making your animation and I hope you enjoy being a cartoon forever into the future. Uh, if you find that you get stuck at any point during this process, you're welcome to give us an email at One Day Studios. So we're based in the old Fletcher Jones factory in Warrnambool. And you can email us at uh, gareth at onedaystudios.org.au or visit our website to find out more. And uh, we'd be happy to help. All the best.